Hey guys, in this Red Gaming Tech video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about MS Config, as well as a few other little tools, just to give you guys a little idea of how to remove viruses and just to improve your general system stability slash uh, performance. Now, most of you who are familiar with PC Gaming are probably aware of these tools already. Um, however, some of you probably are not, and there is obviously always good to um, improve people's knowledge in general. Uh, this particular method is good, for example, if you don't have access to a secondary computer for network access and, for example, you need to quickly remove a slightly malicious virus. Uh, ransom viruses are very good for this. For example, you know, they'll tell you that your PC is running counterfeit software and it you know, probably isn't. And they'll ransom you a certain amount of money. Uh, I've come across this a couple of times. Uh, now people are going to scream that you just need good security. That's true. But for example, it's always possible that you could run into this on a reasonably freshly formatted system. <coughs> and so on. Besides, for all you know, it could be your friend. So I'm just going to quickly go into this. Generally speaking, you're going to want to run this under if it's a virus or, you know, you want to check for suspicious things running in the background. You're probably going to want to do this in safe mode. I obviously can't. However, regardless of the fact, even if you just want to see what's loading in the background, just for system uh, performance reasons, you feel like too much CPU is running, it's a pretty good little tool to uh, know about anyway, as you can access a few little tweaks. Um... So anyway, with that said, we can do this a couple of ways. You can either press uh, Windows R and then type in um, MS Config, or you can just type it into the Start menu. It's up to you. I'll just do it this way, just for the visual aspect more than anything. And then obviously it's going to pop up with this. It may or may not ask you for a... Uh... Sorry, guys. Just struggling to get into the record window there. Anyway, as I was saying, it may or may not ask you for admin prompt, depending. Anyway, once you're in here, you've got various options, including normal startup, diagnostic startup, selective startup, fairly obvious, that one. Um, basic services are very good if you're very worried. It's almost like uh, booting in safe mode, although you have a few more bits and pieces on there. You've got boot, this is pretty good if you've got multiple operating systems as you can reduce the timeout between the loads. I don't know if you guys have ever had multiple OS's installed but generally there's a time limit between where you can actually choose. For example let's say that Windows 7 is you know what you really want to load 90% of the time or 95% of the time but you have a Windows say XP partition and you're just running that just for the old games because you know they generally play better on older operating systems. So what you might want to do is have that older OS on like a very low timeout with the default to be Windows 7. So if you're standing there, reboot your machine, and you're like, hey, you know what, I just want to quickly go into Windows XP, you can just you know, press down and press enter, but it's only last for a few seconds. So if you do happen to switch your PC off and, uh, it won't, and then restart and you walk away, it won't take forever and a day to boot. You can also go safe boot where you can you know choose these different options, which is good if you've got different operating systems which are running into particular issues. I'm not gonna go into all this though. You've also got services. This is pretty simple stuff. This allows you to um, basically stop a service at the start. I'm gonna go into this a little bit more in detail, maybe in this video or possibly into a different one, depending on how long this is. I don't want to keep these videos too long, as I don't want to kind of bore the tears off you. However, your services will look a little bit different. Generally speaking, you can actually just go ahead and, um, well, Google, if you're not sure. If you have a smartphone, even if you can't access the internet on your PC, of course, that gives you the option. For example, uh, Steam loads in the background, if you don't want that, you could switch off. Although most of these things do happen to have their own, for example, Steam, you can take them off to load in the background if you choose. You can also hide all the Microsoft services. Um, so that's pretty cool. But for this case, we're not going to bother to do that. Under tools, you've got various little bits and pieces, including computer management. That's good, for example, for hard disks, that kind of thing. Um, you can choose partitions. and You've also got task manager. I'll probably go into actual task manager and uh, that kind of thing in another video as well. And we've also got startup, which is actually the primary reason we're actually looking at this video. 
Startup is pretty simple. It's applications that load in the background of your PC. As you can see, there are a ton of stuff. You can choose between them quite easily. Sorry guys, it's construction going outside my house. I'm unable to control that. So uh, it's going to be a little bit noisy, unfortunately, for this video. I'm, I really apologise in advance if it bothers you. Anyway, you can basically choose between different things and simply untick them. This is very good because, as I've said, some viruses do load. So let's say, for example, it was Steam in this case, and Steam was a virus, even though obviously it's not. I just want to clarify that. Let's assume it was a virus. Then I could just untick that in safe mode and it would not load back in regular mode. This is pretty cool because in safe boot, generally most of the stuff and most of the services and so on do not load. Now you can choose between, for example, having um, networking if you boot in safe mode. But sometimes you don't want to do that for the simple reason that uh, safe mode with um, networking can run you into a few problems. I'm just adjusting the recording window a little bit there as it's just annoying me more than anything else. So with that said, you can basically quickly go in here and do this. Now there are other tools that um, can really help you with this and I will be going through them. Now I know a lot of you are probably going to say this is very different from most of the videos that I've got on RGT. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not completely aware of that. But RGT was actually started as a, a tech and gaming website, hence Red Gaming Tech. The tech obviously will always be secondary to the gaming aspect. And generally speaking, I want the gaming to revolve around, uh, sorry, should I say the technology to revolve around the gaming. But in cases like this, where it's like antivirus and basic system maintenance, I quite like putting in a odd video in sometimes, just to give you guys a little bit of a a break from gaming. I know some of you probably don't want that, but anyway. And also, it just gives you a little bit of extra knowledge. Plus, as well, maybe it will get a few extra people to view the channel. You never know, which would, of course, always be a good thing. Regardless of the fact, once you've done this, you just reboot, and it will go ahead and do that. It's also a pretty good practice if you just want a little bit of advice. It's also always a good idea to have a secondary administrative account or at the very least a basic user level account on your system um, for the simple reason that if one of your accounts become compromised you do actually have access to a secondary account um, which is always actually a really positive thing for example let's assume that you know account A becomes compromised with a certain thing and you can't boot into it so you can't even access MS Config even um, bootloaders, I've actually had this a few times where you can't even safe boot into that particular uh, user, then it's actually pretty cool to actually have a secondary account. I know some people probably don't want that, and having more than one admin account can be a bit difficult. What you could do is have that secondary admin account on a ridiculously complicated password, if it's only, for example, your PC. Other than that, another good practice that a lot of people do is to actually have a secondary account for themselves so they'll have account A which is admin and account B which is secondary and they'll browse and you know Facebook or whatever they want to do on account B so if for example one of their friends on Facebook's PC is infected and they happen to click on a link either in chat or on their actual you know wall or what have you and it has to take them to something that's going to exploit their PC it won't really affect it because uh, that PC doesn't have permissions on that account to run in a bit particularly dangerous Anyway, this has been a very brief overview. I will be going into some really cool applications, actually, um, which are going to be very much about diagnostic startups. Um, I'm going to be talking, hopefully, in not too distant future, about diagnosing RAM. If you're RAM, for example, you feel that's bad. I'll be going into core temperature, uh, showing you how to monitor that, as well as the graphics card temperatures. Um, I'll be going and showing you a few browser speed-up tips. Although they're somewhat less relevant than they were because obviously browsers now are so fast and your internet so fast, but it doesn't really hurt. I'll be showing you a few good add-ons as well. Um, and on top of that, of course, we're going to have all the gaming stuff that we've normally had, so don't worry, we're not stopping that at all. Um, I know Amata has a lot of StarCraft planned um, and some gaming news. Website is almost done and so on. We're going to be adding some more sections to that as well. And also, hopefully, there'll be some really good news coming up in the next week to two weeks, depending on uh, how long things take to uh, percolate, if you will. Anyway, I think that's just about covered everything that I need to. 
So with that said, take care of yourselves guys and uh, hope you found the video a little bit helpful. Once again, this is a very brief tour. I will be putting out some more complicated in-depth videos on each of the subjects pretty soon. So bye for now.